Look, you don't have to be an atheist to believe in evolution. Now, if your aim is to propagandize in favor of evolution, that obviously is the best seduction technique. But if your aim is to kill religion, as mine is, yeah. then, then, uh, then, then just, just let me finish. If, you're, if your aim is to kill religion, then since evolution is manifestly true, then if, if there are people out there who really believe that, uh, that, it, it, that if you are an evolutionist, you've got to be an atheist, then all I've got to do is to persuade them of evolution, which should be comparatively easy, since the, uh, since the evidence is overwhelming, and I'll turn them all into atheists. If anyone, they can go back to the clip. So here in this clip, you can see that he's not sincere. He's working off the ignorance of people. Well, people have an impression that believing in evolution means you have to deny the existence of God. So he's using that ignorance against them by giving evidence of evolution and trying to convert people to atheism. What do you think about that tactic of using people's ignorance to convert them to atheism? Well, it's not their ignorance, that's their belief. They believe that... Fine. Is, okay, their belief, is it true or false? Uh, false or... False. Yeah, so false. use someone's false belief to bring them to atheism. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, using their false belief to correct them is a good thing. So the only thing Dawkins said there was if people believe that you can't accept evolution and a God, like creationists who believe in Adam and Eve, if you can show them evolution is true, then they will stop believing in a God. And all I'm trying to show is you can't defend the indefensible. He is a flat out liar. What he's doing is he's using people's ignorance against them. There should be one, one person. Ah, oh, okay. Wait one second, Ustad. Ustad, this is very profound. One second. Let me get this right. Tell me if I'm wrong. You're saying that they say one God plus one God plus one God is one yes. God. If you if they're using that logic, then they they have to be consistent. This is why. Look, I've learned something new today. The Father is one person. The Son is one more person. The Holy Spirit is one person. They can't come and say three persons, they have to say it's one person. Exactly. But they don't say that. They don't say that. I just learned something new today. I can't Can believe I it. Can I have a round of applause, please? Oh, yeah.